The Bielstein Test – Testing for Halides and Organic Compounds Attention! In the decomposition of organic compounds, toxic and dangerous products are able to form, so the experiment has to be done outside or in a fume hood. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the Bielstein test, the following equipment is needed. A Bunsen burner, a copper wire, a clamp or tongs to hold the wire and optionally a porcelain dish to hold the sample. In addition to that, the test is done in low light conditions. First, the Bunsen burner is ignited and the copper wire is heated in the roaring flame until no green flame coloration can be observed anymore. It has to be taken care that no higher amounts of halogenated compounds are in the air, like for example hydrochloric acid or solvents. Due to the heat, the copper reacts to form copper 2 oxide. According to the protocol, the sample is then placed on the glowing wire, where especially liquid compounds are likely not to stick to the hot surface, so it was left to cool in the liquid. Practically, the wire could also be left to cool before dipping it into the sample, but there's a slight risk of it being contaminated by dust particles in the air. At first, benzaldehyde was tested, which should give a negative result. I was curious whether it was possible to prove that it is industrially made by the hydrolysis of benzyl chloride. Nevertheless, even though it was technical grade, it was obviously still pure enough. Next, palm was tested, which is chlorinated rubber with a chlorine content of 68 weight percent. This did obviously give a positive result and is also used in pyrotechnics to intensify the flame coloration. In the decomposition of halogenated compounds, different substances are formed, of which some, like hydrogen chloride, can react with copper oxide to form copper 2 halides. These are able to evaporate, leading to the flame coloration of copper. To test for different halogens, bromobenzene was used here, which did also give a positive result. There was no organic iodine compound available, so as a substitute, elemental iodine was tested, because it could also react with copper to form copper 1 iodide. At the end I was curious if a highly volatile compound could even be tested, so dichloromethane with a boiling point of 39.7 degrees C was used. As it could be seen with the Bielstein test, lots of compounds can easily be tested for halogens. This was the Bielstein test. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see more tests in organic chemistry, you can watch my playlist about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.